Green rolling hills, snow-capped mountains, beautiful, curvy, melanin-rich women, and hilarious, friendly, blunt-speaking people. Why should someone be gay? All this describes Uganda. Uganda borders Tanzania, Kenya, Rwanda, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, and South Sudan. Covering an area of approximately 240,000 square kilometers, Uganda is situated right in the heart of Africa. As of 2024, it has a total population of about 49.6 million people, of which 8.5 million live in the capital and largest city of Kampala. Welcome again to Off to Steph Films, and as usual, give this video a like and kindly consider subscribing. The following are 20 surprising and cool facts about beautiful Uganda. One, Uganda is home to the curviest women in the world. Its women are so curvicious that Uganda's Ministry of Tourism has added its curvy women to the list of tourist attractions in the country. In early February 2019, Godfrey Kawanda, a Ugandan junior minister of tourism, proposed a beauty pageant dubbed Miss Curvy Uganda to publicly showcase voluptuous Ugandan women as a means of attracting foreign tourists and generating more foreign currency earnings. Opinions are divided on this with some people claiming that it demeans women and completely destroys their integrity. Many women, however, support it, arguing that the initiative was designed to promote an appreciation of beauty and diversity and that it is an exceptional event that will see young ladies showcase their beautiful curves and intellect. I want to portray a lady as a lady, but yes, this lady can come out and show you that she's beautiful. She's a Ugandan, she's a motor of last size, it does not make you daft. It remains to be seen whether this novel approach to attracting tourists will actually work. Two, its people are the most entertaining, blunt-speaking folks you will meet. The president himself openly stated that life is too easy in Uganda. Even a fool can survive. Near the equator, we have two rainy seasons. That's why these Ugandans are, are, are lazy, you see, because, because life is very easy for them. You, you don't have to work very hard, you know. Even, even a fool can survive in Uganda. Uganda's journalists are the stuff of memes with their overly forthright approach to asking hard questions. We bring in the studio this morning one of the gay rights activists, Mr. Should I call you Mr.? Sure. Pepe Julian Onzima. Thank you for coming in. Thank you for Good morning. Good morning to you. Why are you gay? Who says I'm gay? You are gay. Yes, and you're a gay rights activist and an outspoken um, uh, uh, lesbian, homosexual. How can I describe you? Why should someone be gay? I've just not, uh, I've chosen not to engage. Doesn't that make you gay? Three, Ugandan women make great life partners. Ugandan parents take marriage seriously. Parents train young girls on how to be ideal wives. Paternal aunts, also known as Sengas, take part in grooming and preparing the girl child to become a proper woman. As a sign of respect for the elders, they teach girls to kneel when greeting and talking to the elders. Ugandan women are very submissive to their husbands. Shockingly, Ugandan women respect their husbands so much that even in public, they can kneel when greeting. After a long day at work, a Ugandan woman will remove the husband's shoes, ask how your day was, and even dress him up. All this is designed to draw a husband and wife together. Four, Uganda has one of the youngest populations in the world, with about 48% being children below 15 years of age. The country also has high fertility rates, and a woman will bear an average of five children in her lifetime. Uganda's current population is around 45 million and is one of the most densely populated countries in Africa. Five, in 2023, Uganda became one of Africa's first countries to make its own electric car. 
Young engineers at Uganda's Makerere University made an electric car. The College of Engineering Design, Art and Technology at Makerere conducted a four kilometers test drive on its Kira EV, a two-seater vehicle that runs on rechargeable lithium batteries instead of petrol. Its makers say that in motorway conditions, the Kira EV can attain a speed of 100 kilometers per hour and cover 80 kilometers or 50 miles before it needs recharging. Six, the country hosts the biggest number of refugees in all of Africa. According to the UN, the country has the most welcoming refugee policy in the world. This is a clear testament to the welcoming nature of Ugandans. Seven, in 1972, President Idi Amin, in his drive to return Uganda to Ugandans, expelled the South Asian population. The expulsion took place against the backdrop of anti-Indian sentiment and black supremacy in Uganda, with Amin accusing a minority of the Indians of disloyalty, non-integration, and commercial malpractice. He gave them 90 days to leave the country. Actually, I took this decision for the economy of Uganda, and I must make sure that every Ugandan get a fruit of independence. I want to see that the whole Kampala street is not full of Indians. It you? must be proper black and uh, administration in those shops is run by the Uganda. I will tell you this. Uh, you just wait after three months. What will you do to them? Okay, you will <laughs> see. <laughs> Eight. In 2017, the Ugandan parliament approved the removal of presidential age limits, making it possible for Museveni to remain in office for life. Nine. On March 21, 2023, the Ugandan parliament passed a bill that would make identifying as gay punishable by life in prison and the death penalty for anyone found guilty of aggravated homosexuality. 10. Many reputable publications have listed Uganda as one of the best tourist destinations in Africa. CNN considers Kadepo Valley National Park in Uganda one of the best national parks to visit for those who love pristine and raw African wilderness. Uganda is one of the world's best bird-watching destinations. The country has at least 1041 species of birds, almost half the total found in all of Africa. 11. Uganda is one of the only three countries in the world that still have mountain gorillas. Windy Impenetrable National Park is home to about half of the remaining mountain gorillas and was declared a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1994, along with the Wenzori Mountains National Park. Although East Africa is known for its expensive destinations, Uganda offers the very bottom of the budget. Relatively, a luxury safari trip in Uganda is what a semi-luxury trip in Kenya would cost you. 12. It has been lauded by many travelers as having the best weather in the world. Uganda is one of the few countries crossed by the equator. This, combined with the high overall altitude, culminates in mild, beautiful weather that is neither too hot nor too cold. The bulk of the country is tropical, with temperatures averaging about 25 degrees Celsius during the day and 16 degrees Celsius at night. 13. It is home to Africa's third highest mountain, Mount Stanley, at 5,109 meters or 16,763 feet. This is the peak of Africa's tallest mountain range, the Ruwenzori Mountains, with snow-capped peaks, glacial valleys, and diverse flora and fauna. The Ruwenzori Mountains are often referred to as the Mountains of the Moon. 14. Uganda is a landlocked country. It has no direct route to the ocean or a seaport. Nevertheless, 26% of Uganda's total land area is covered by water bodies, including lakes and rivers. 15. It is home to Lake Victoria, the largest lake in Africa and the second largest freshwater lake in the world. Lake Victoria is a vast expanse of shimmering blue waters that provide lifeline to the country and surrounding communities and teams with diverse aquatic life. Also, Uganda is the source of the world's longest river. The Nile starts its journey to Egypt from a small city in eastern Uganda known as Jinja. 16. Uganda is one of Africa's most food-secure countries, thanks to its very fertile soils, abundant rain, and arable land. In fact, 70% of the land in the country is used for agricultural activities. Uganda produces crops like bananas, coffee, flowers, tea, tobacco, cotton, and vanilla, among others. All this means that very few Ugandans go to bed hungry due to the abundance of food. In fact, its president once said, with the equator we have two rainy seasons, 
That is why these Ugandans are lazy because life is very easy for them. You don't have to work very hard. Even a fool can survive in Uganda. 17. The country has huge untapped reserves of both crude oil and natural gas. Western Uganda has approximately 6.5 billion barrels of oil reserves, with at least 1.4 billion estimated to be economically recoverable. If managed prudently, this oil wealth could catapult the country into the league of rich oil-producing countries. 18. Did you know that Uganda is home to one of the smallest church buildings in the world? The church sits atop Beku Hill and is only about 8 feet tall and 8 feet wide. Essentially only enough room for three people. 19. Uganda is ranked as the most ethnically diverse country in the world. It is home to the Bantu, Nilotes, and Nilo Hamite language groups, and over 56 ethnic groups make up the country's diversified population, each with its own set of customs, languages, and ways of life. 20. Lastly, and thanks for watching to the end, Uganda's national anthem is, at least to me, incredibly pleasant to listen to. Listen to a section of it in the comment section, tell me what you think of it. Goodbye and I will definitely see you around.